right arm of Matheson that went over the shoulder here. There's Sicily just lowering himself down. Matheson had to drop his body as well. Just stayed too upright. A chance for the Hawks' first goal of the game. Zorko it was, by the way, with the opening goal of the game for the Brisbane Lions. A touch of confusion out there. No worries here. It's a goal apiece. So Sicily, who's an impressive young player, isn't he? Just starting to find his feet now at AFL level. To one straight. Lions by eight points. Terrific grab. The tackle from Piopolo, quickly grabbed by Langford, back to Piopolo on the hill, over the top, here's a chance, Gunston, little under Rioli, hardly misses, doesn't hear, well done Cyril, Hawks get their second. Christensen obviously didn't have his poo, uh, Piopolo, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have his Piopolo meter on then. I mean, <laughs> Not taken by Sicily, taken oh, high, Puopolo. Keep out, Daniel, play on. Got it from Segler, and Birchall follows up, so he goes long, down towards Hill in the square, he pushes off, Cyril or Hill, Hill kicks the goal. Hawks in front. Well, came in fast and came in pretty flat, and Hill was in the right spot. He used the body, just pushed off, wasn't able to take the mark, and then when Cyril and this is one problem that Brisbane's had all year, and that's defending marks in there at defensive 50. On average, sides take 17 marks inside their 50 against them. So Ben McAvoy, top of the square. Hawks extend their lead. So eight-point lead is now on a perfect Saturday afternoon at the Gabba. It has been... A competitive Brisbane she is, and that is if they see somebody who is in a better position, a higher percentage position, they just turn and kick like Gunston did then. He's had a good year, Bruce. 21 goals. He kicked a goal last week against the Sydney Swans, kicking at his first here of the afternoon, and it's gone right through the middle. So, two point ball game, and to all the players involved, then there was Burgoyne. Lewis over the top, Cyril lurks, so too McAvoy, when Cyril's around it's dangerous times, little kick ends up with Piopolo, now to Burgoyne, Hawks get their second for the turn. I get anxious for defenders who are anywhere near Cyril, <laughs> can you imagine what they feel out there? Cyril, Burgoyne, Piopolo all around the place, ends up with Burgoyne kicking the goal, but Bruce man up that time to Burgoyne, who you saw the little handball, he got it away. Bruce Mitchell kicks it around the corner, inside 50, dangerous ball. Puopolo, Hill, and now Gunston. He's got time to straighten up, and when he straightens up, he very rarely misses. There's his first. With that, Back to a one-point ball game. That's how quickly they yeah. can score once they gain control of the ball. And it comes back to that contested possession. Though. Really you just digging in Lewis, Bergwijn, Mitchell, they've all started to get their hands on their foot. Time back on there on the line. Hold their fears. I'll call it. I'll call it. Luke Bruce getting more instructions than normal. Doesn't need many instructions. He's a beautiful footballer. Three in a row to the Hawks. Like a jockey before the Melbourne Cup, all the owners and trainers and <laughs> just getting plenty of advice. Luke, so just tell me where you need to be. I'll <laughs> the thing you want to be doing is giving it back by kicking the ball out of bounds on the full. The last 10 inside 50s, there's been a domination, a real momentum shift in this game. Stefan Martin didn't get to the ball. Cutler knocked it wide, but Rioli on the end of a couple of handballs. Cyril! So Doug Nichols round and Cyril and Burgoyne and Hill have all been on the board already for the Hawks. Cyril has a couple. Effort there just pounding the turf here at the Gabba. He's kicked one this afternoon for seven this season. Seven, two. He kicked 12 goals last year. He's not a big goal kicker. So this is close to his best start to a season in a long time since becoming a Hawk. He's got it. And the Hawks out to a 10 point lead. Uh, 
an interesting piece of play. Everyone was back, and yet the big fella. So the first goal of the second half to the Hawks. McAvoy gets his second for the afternoon and gets hold of the football, feeds Puopolo. He in turn to Lewis. Wonderful gift to Smith. He runs to about 45, thumps the ball long, back to back for the Hawks. Poonch's 4 0 in this third term alone as well. I reckon Al Clarkson sat him down and said, OK, boys, we can play this two ways. For this next half, Clear, decisive possession. And uh, this bloke, Cyril Rioli, 14 disposals this afternoon. A lot of great pressure acts again in that forward half. This to equal his best against the Brisbane Lions. Round 19, 2008, he kicked three. And he's got three here as well. You talk about small moments, Tim. Shaq, goes back with a flight. Kick was too hot for him. Looking into yeah. the sun. Would have been trying to make the margin seven points. Well, the little master with the ball in his hands. McAvoy, front spot. Gunston out the back. Oh. Segler from the side. Puopolo. Well, you talk about little masters. He's got an extraordinary ability to find the football, to kick the goal, and particularly when a goal is required. Well done, Poppy. I just wonder whether or not... I'm not saying it was a set play, but I just wonder whether or not that's something... Call Will Langford to play on to half forward. Well, there's the man of the moment. Disposal 37. And not only does it, he look for Poppy, Poppy's happy to see it through. Whether he was looking for Poppy or not, the mark was needed to be taken and he was up to the challenge. Very rarely when the big moments have arrived in his career has he let anyone down. Across to Mays, then they lost the football. The Lions brilliantly done. Isaac Smith got it from Mitchell. Ball back inside 50. Gunston got there first, didn't get the football. Now McAvoy, Rioli, dangerous, really dangerous. It's a 20 point lead. As soon as it got into his hands, a little sidestep, <laughs> and that was it. It was game over. He is a magician. So Cyril Rioli, easily his best against Brisbane, his best at the Gabba, his best in AFL football is six, he's got five. And Jude, do you think the Aboriginal players or the Indigenous players really set themselves for this round? Oh, they absolutely do. Even last night, I know that Buddy Franklin was really keen to, to play well in Indigenous round, but... Uh, sir Mark. Might have got him in the rib cage then, uh, I think, too. So McAvoy, a couple for the afternoon already. Three's a nice return for Ben. Back to 25 points. It's that old saying, isn't it? Everyone gets a lick of the ice cream when you participate in all facets of the game. Rioli tackles. Burgoyne picks the ball up. As you see, a distressed Christensen there on the... Ten goal kickers, Cyril five of them, McAvoy three. And Hill, he's got everything. Accuracy, distance, and well, out to 31 points. Game high lead now. Four of the last five. Lewis, Rioli, Rioli, and Hill the last four for the Hawks. And this kick from Mex someone to Mitchell over the journey. Yeah, I do. Oh, most of the mark in that pack. Gunston. Now the ball from Langford across to Lewis. That's the record. The most disposals in a game. Celebrating 250. And speaking of celebration, O'Brien just adds a few bells and whistles. 36 points is their lead now, the Hawks. And Jordan Lewis, no player, celebrating. About the Hawks recruit, recruiting brilliantly. He is one of the great finds in recent years. In this term, the Hawks 7-2 to 3-2. This 8-2 to 3-2 now. Poppy's got his second. And the Hawks out to 42 points up and not long ago, leading by just six. That was a great kick then by Langford. He, 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 he was his non-preferred foot 
He spun around, and I don't think he's into the corridor. Can they kick it to somebody who's in a better position? They're Jack, a selfless team. Jack Gunston with four goals and the three Brownlow votes the last time these two teams played in round 22 last year. And he's got his second. Nine goals to three now in this final term. Hawthorne, when things get serious, get serious. And Jack Gunston, he's, we talk about Puopolo being a huge fight. 